river that we were heading up, not far from Japura. It's filled with this short vegetation. Kind of neat stuff. We are here to stop along the river hoping to find some good solid land. That's a Celius torquatus. I think it's called ringed woodpecker calling in the background. The trails that we're walking on in the forest here and we also are setting up mist nets on the trails. That way we can sense this birds visually and orally so we listen for bird songs and make recordings and then we also mist net to, um, to see things that we aren't able to hear because they're not seeing or see because they're very secretive and hide in the understory. So right now Alunechi is opening up the nets. They were closed for the night. Every morning we get here, ideally we get here before it gets light out and get, get started getting them open, but today things are a little slower. It's, it's still pretty early. So Alunechi is using a stick to get them up high and we take them all the way to the ground so that we get some things that move pretty low as well. Things that walk on the ground, the nets don't do such a good job catching, and things that are large, the nets also don't do a good job catching. So nets alone are not a good way to sample birds, but in addition to doing surveys where we walk and listen and look with our binoculars, we are using the nets. This is what a bird looks like when it's caught in the net, kind of hanging there like it's in a hammock. This is that bird that was just caught in the net. It is either a female or a juvenile, Javier rubica. Right now I'm walking down the trail to help Elenechi pull nets down. John is walking down to help Elenechi close the nets up because we're going to be taking them down and moving them to a new location. <laughs> 